from um, I'm Ray Robinson, the owner of Whiskey Right Distillery. Uh, we're located in Washington, D.C. We came up here to support the Black Spirits, sure. history of the Black Spirits, and we're part of this. No doubt, it's in D.C. Yes, sir, Washington, D.C. Yes, sir. Yeah, we came from D.C. Uh, Lazar, I met him online. Shout out to Lazar. Yeah, shout out to Lazar. Um, yeah, I met him on social media. Network. Exactly. Tell us a little more about the situation. So, me and my business partner started this company um, in 2015. Yeah. So we now been selling whiskey. Uh, we came out actually in 2017. Now, before you start selling whiskey. Yeah, I, I was always a whiskey drinker. Okay. Whiskey is it's the way it's made to me. I love it. Okay. What's the name of whiskey in your mouth? Yeah. Whiskey right. <laughs> hey, hey, don't mind him asking questions. They always talk about me. Love my whiskey. Hey, what's so special about you? Uh, well, my business partner is an executive chef. So, it's handcrafted this small back. Okay. They can very unique. So you all were pairing everything with the food? Exactly. My business oh, partner was pairing it with food dope. first. Yeah, then we got into this. That's, that's dope. But I know what his next question is, though. What's the proof? <laughs> oh, we're at 80 proof. Okay. 80 okay. proof. Uh, no, you all coming no, like a thousand. Thousand. Yes, we, thousand proof. Well, we have... <laughs> you like your highlight. Hey, like like one of the proof. Well, we have a bourbon, uh, gins. We got about 14 okay. different brands under the distillery. Yeah. So what did you start with? Whiskey. Started with whiskey. And partner with multiple black owned businesses to start their own alcohol beverage. Wow, okay. But normally they would start with vodka or gin and then they brand up. That's pretty cool. Whiskey is the top selling in America. <laughs> and, and most of the things are just one. Both. Okay. I gotta ask you this with whiskey, how hard is it to get a white male dominated industry? How, how hard is it to like be? Well, it's not difficult. It's more of um, having the finance to back your business. Network. And, and you got the one in the network. Got a network. So it's really, it's really not that hard. It's more just networking. If you want it bad enough, no matter what, you can get it. Yeah, I mean, of course, you still got to go through barriers. Of course, you got to jump through some hoops. I mean, they've been in, you got to think they own been owning these distilleries for a hundred years, you know? So these guys have been in business for centuries, since Prohibition days, you know? These, these dudes are billion dollar companies. So I got to ask you this too. I'll ask everybody this here. you know what? This is what I need before I can raise myself. I need y'all to give it up for this band. will be next to the Right. So, and this is the thing, you gotta come with something different. Ours is very unique, it's handcrafted, it's not your average whiskey. Correct. This way, everybody like it. We like the ladies to like it, and we like the fellas to like it. So, that is the thing though, because a lot of the whiskey is too hard for a lot of ladies. And a lot of the ones that the ladies like is too soft. Exactly. So we made it, we made it versatile. We did that on purpose. We didn't want our whiskey just to be for the fellas. Of course, you know, fellas, they're gonna drink it with the ladies drink. Exactly. I mean, where do you think Thug Passion came from? Where do you think Thug Passion comes from? He wasn't drinking Thug Passion and telling a woman, say, I need something sweet to go with this Hennessy. He sure was not drinking Thug Passion. Nah, and tell a woman, say, you know what, we should mix it with some uh, Alizé. Let's try it. For sure. Nah, ain't no dude saying, give me Alizé and Hennessy. A woman saying, let me taste that. This is too harsh. What is that? Is that sweet? I right, mix that. Let me taste it. Oh, that's good. Oh, third pass. With the whiskey, obviously, I know you said you're in DC. What's the like? What's the trail of that? Right now, is it in DC? We're manufactured in Virginia, but we market in DC. We're on the borderline, so we both live there. Yeah, so we're in. My man, no, he called it the DMV. So okay, yeah, that's where we are. But we're expanding though. We're online in 38 states. Um, we also we're in California, Florida. We're coming to Tennessee. We're coming in Michigan. Okay, have you found it difficult to get into Michigan? No, I, we, we, we just got started. We, we just getting started, so we really don't know. For some reason, Michigan is tough though. Like 
and it, it's even hard for us to order online. Like, you can't even, you can't even ship to Oh, the really? Shop. Yeah. Like, well, we like this. We're going to work on it. If they allow us in, they allow us in. Exactly. It is what it is. We can't We can't argue with the people, man. If they're going to let us in, they're going to let us in. Nah, nah. You, you just got to take it with one grain right now. Because, you know, I mean, that's the, 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 the easy part is making the alcohol. Right. The hardest part is distribution. For sure. So that's where I, this is why we're here networking. Exactly. That's what you're supposed to do. Yeah. So, you, so you said you make it in Virginia. So you yeah. all are making your own juice? Yeah. Yeah, in oh, VA. Right. We have a distillery. Okay. Yeah, yeah so we, we, you know, we're one of the only out of a handful in the whole United States. You're a black owned distillery? For sure. Yeah. And that's the thing. Like, that means that you don't have to answer to nobody. No, everything is made through us. Like well, it took like two years just to get the license in and all right. of that brick and mortar. We was invested before we even was able to sell anything. Exactly. We was already in the hole. Right. You know. But it was a risk worth taking. Yeah, it really was because sure. now you can kind of control your destiny. You know, yeah. the biggest thing is just controlling your destiny, owning it, no being the boss of your company, exactly. and nobody else being able to tell you being what the to boss do. Of your future. Yeah, it's, sure. this is generational wealth we're building. And that's what we it's own, for right? my kids, 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 kids. Even and if they don't want to be in the business, they will this, own it. That's why this event is so crazy, bro, just Correct. to see all this I black agree. ownership. Bro. I agree, man. It's you crazy. mean it's your look, look at us. I mean, out of all, look at. I mean, you never know. It's two hundred of us across the United States right now. Exactly. You know, and I own fifteen of them. <laughs> <laughs> nah. No, <I'm> <laughs> on that note. <laughs> We just no, try, man. So I, I want to ask you two things, though. Like, what, what were you doing before Olympics? Like, uh, I'm a mass electrician, engineer, okay. yeah. building um, engineer. Oh, so so yeah. we had some, we had some, uh, some insight on what was going on in the construction of that. Yeah, okay. I, I pretty much understood what we needed. Oh, yeah, exactly. um, of course, I mean, I read a lot, too, though. Yeah. So I was studying Uncle Nearest, what they were doing. Yeah. Once I saw what they were doing, I, I ain't gonna lie, that was like my inspiration. Yeah. Once I found out who he was, did some background, right. and then I love whiskey. Yeah. So, and I started thinking, I did the research on, um, you know, just the industry. Right. And I was like, you know what? It's not too many, it's not too many of us doing the whiskeys. Exactly. But now it is, like in the last five years, you see, right. I can name a few, they all popped up just right. like we popped up. I mean, and it was all, it was all a transition. So you talked about going from, People being brand ambassadors to like putting their name on shit to like people actually owning exactly. the liquor. So like that's a the progress is there. So I can see it coming. We might obviously we want to see the, the centuries worth of it, but like we have to begin the stage. So that's pretty exactly. Yeah. Exactly. And that's the biggest thing about what we're doing here. Right. We're owners now. Instead of just see we're the culture. Right. No matter what. Look at the way we dress, look at the way we create music. So Where do you think it all come from? All around the world. All around the world. All around the world. Yes. You go to Africa and they can quote 50 Cent in Africa. Exactly. That's you it. know? <laughs> they dress. Now, I mean, I love Africa. I ain't just talking Africa. Europeans too. Anywhere. Anywhere. Hip hop. Yeah, that's, a, that's our culture. We the genre. We the culture. Sure. We tell them what's cool, what's not cool. After really a while. Know. I think it's, it's high time that we start realizing that. Start, I realize it. Off of. Yeah, I mean they can't. You can't knock us yeah. when we're the culture. No matter what, you can. You can't sports. <laughs> Wait, you gotta Highest paid in. sports. <laughs> right. Athletes. Come yeah. on. Everything, bro. You can't. Said, before, yeah. before you was doing, you was doing electricity. Yeah, I was working for Hilton. So I say, I, I say that just to go here. So I will ask what you were, what you was doing before. Now I want to know what's next. Well, what's next is us to take the company um, nationally. Once yeah. we go national, then we go international. You know, yeah. that's the goal. That's My the goal, goal is to expand sure. as much as we can yeah. um, and put our footprint on the United States. I mean, how, how can you have liquor stores and we don't even own it, half of the stuff on the bar? Yeah. Not to say we're the only ones drinking. Everybody drinks. Right. But the point is, how much ownership do we have? Yeah. See, see a thousand brands out there and we only got 200 out of a thousand right and that's not it's more than a thousand i'm just saying yeah, yeah. way more than a thousand right <laughs> think about that for sure think about in other countries uh -huh. that you got jack nothing against jack or none of them brands but they're all over the world exactly but how many black owned brands yeah. are all over and the world besides uncle nearest that's what i was talking about making these brands uh, a name that 
a household name. Exactly. Like, like Jack Daniels. Uncle, like Uncle Nears did. They in what, 140 st countries? And I'm glad, yeah. I'm glad they're making that separation now. Yeah. Again, no diss on Jack Daniels. Yeah, I'm, yeah. Glad, I'm glad they're making that separation. From the very so beginning. They can be their own yeah, exactly. They they did it the smart way. You have to build. The way they built was very smart. Yeah. It's the same way we're building. We all have to start somewhere. Yeah. Nobody starts at the top unless you got what they have backing them. Got to have some backing. Yeah. And if you're going to do it like we started, me and my business partner, $500 a piece. Yeah. Literally. <laughs> that was it. He put up 500, I put up 500. Every other week, we were getting paid. We both worked at Hilton. Yeah. He's an executive chef. Gotcha. I sat on the board as a chief engineer. Gotcha. So every every couple weeks, we put some money up sure. until we got to our goal. Yeah. We no, built it literally from the ground up. Who economics is not that? Right. Yeah. A lot of people are afraid to do it, though. Hey, you had the patience to do it. We, we did, did it. Everybody yeah. has the patience. Nope. Exactly. That's what we literally, about. every day, we were studying this game. Like, yeah. yo, we need to pay for this. We got to buy this. You got to do this. The, the, the fireman said we got to change this before we right. can open. We can't do this. Can't have liquor there until you do this. Right. It's a whole process. Yeah. You and gotta, it's, yeah, you got to follow that process. You have to follow and be yeah, patient, yeah. man. If you don't, <laughs> yeah. right, all that yeah. I mean, you got to want it, though. Like, yeah. it's, it's everyone wants overnight success. But as you know, anybody who thinks it's going to happen overnight, it ain't never going to happen overnight. Right. You can definitely fail overnight, though. Everywhere. <laughs> you can definitely fail overnight. Everywhere, yes. The more you try to say it's going to happen overnight, the more you're going to fail. For sure. The less you stop thinking about that and just do what you're doing, let the process. Let everything the process. is, a, is yeah. called, exactly. No Trust the process. Still learning. Yeah. All the time. I don't care who you are and what you think you know. Yeah. You don't know enough. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. You right still got to keep going. <laughs> Thanks for sitting down with us. Hey, All right, man. Nice to meet you, man. Tell I people where they can find the website. Yeah, you can find us at whiskeyright.com. Whiskeyright.com. If you see, it's W-R-I-G-H-T. Anything Whiskey Right. It's patent owned by us, so ain't nobody else can mess with that. We own the name, the brand, everything. Hey, I appreciate you, man. So you know what it is now. Yeah, man. When we come to DC, you all you gotta do is tap in. When we come to DC, look, social media is a mud. Just say Whiskey Right One. I run the social media pages. Anything you see, Whiskey Right, you just message that. Hey, what's up? I'm in DC. We own you, nigga. I don't be playing. And I'm on you. I'm be like, where you at? All right, what time you pulling up? All right, I'll be there. All right, peace out, dad. Take one of these cars, I already got it, brother. Right. Oh, yeah. I'm already on y'all. I'm on y'all podcast. I'm on y'all, man. Definitely. Let's do it, man. Let me know what y'all need, fellas. Thank you, man. We need y'all brothers out here. Good luck on everything, brother. Thank you, man. All right. Thank you, fellas. Bye bye, man. I have a good one, alright? Show you too. Man, what?